हेलो गाइस टुडेज लेक्चर इज ऑन द ब्लैक बोर्ड आर्किटेक्चर स्टाइल ब्लैक बोर्ड आर्किटेक्चर स्टाइल इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ डेटा सेंटर आर्किटेक्चर स्टाइल और पैटर्न देयर आर टू टाइप्स वन इज द रिपोजिटरी आर्किटेक्चर स्टाइल एंड अनदर इज द ब्लैक बोर्ड in our previous lecture it was discussed in detail about the repository data architect uh, repository architecture style in repository architectural style as talked in detail that the repository or data storing device or data storing is passive and agents are active in black board architecture style the data stored is active rather than the clients this means the agents are passive what is the concept of active and passive active means everything will be happen everything will be in the control of the data store data store is responsible for processing <coughs> while the clients are passive clients can clients agents can give the input and can see the output but control is with the data store <coughs> flow of logic is determined by the current data status in the data store clients of the blackboard are called the knowledge sources the listeners and subscribers a new data chain may trigger events so that the knowledge source take actions to respond to these events this could happen continuously until the goal is achieved reach remember that we have three components three basic components of this blackboard architecture style one is the blackboard another is the control and another is the knowledge source so first i tell you why this architecture is called a blackboard nowadays we use the whiteboard when we write something in the class we use the markers and whiteboard but when this concept originated so at that time people were using the blackboard the chalk and the blackboard so as you all know what is the purpose of blackboard in the class teacher write something teacher write question and teacher then solve that question or teacher take questions from the students and then solve so agents in this case are like the blackboard the agents will take input question input request and the controller will process that input to the knowledge source and knowledge source is updating day by day the knowledge source is like a dictionary which contain the knowledge how to solve their problem so based on the knowledge source is available the question is answered and then the controller pass that answer solution to the blackboard again This is a very interesting architecture style. The common examples are voice and image recognition system. What is the purpose of image recognition system? The images are recognized. So sensors are there cam through camera or sensor the images or voices are taken from the user and then controller process it compare it with the knowledge sources and remember that knowledge source is 
actually the data store here the data store is the knowledge source and controller or control programs are installed on the data store device that actually compare the different images processes and give back to the blackboard similarly when we talk about the security systems business resource management system and all the artificial intelligent based systems which purpose is to take input process it compare it and with the help of knowledge source it compute the result and give back to the blackboard so processing control is not with the agents while in the previous architecture repository all happening was due to the active agents and data store was just used for storing here processing will be the control processing will be with the data store so control is responsible for passing data from the blackboard to knowledge source and from knowledge source to the blackboard so controller is a back end program which execute the instruction for the blackboard knowledge source and the controller itself all the rules regulations are defined in the knowledge source and remember that this data set knowledge source data set updates day by day like when we talk about the artificial intelligence systems ai based systems so if time passes it become more and more mature so based on on those rules the data is processed and then based on some certain goal the result is generated back to the blackboard this is a sequence diagram how the operations passes in sequence controller initiate when when the blackboard um, take the input so first controller initi take initiative and then blackboard initiate the and take input match inspection and then knowledge source is updated match inspection updated and then the inspected result is gone back to the blackboard here so this is the blackboard this is the data storing device we are controller we are the back end active programs are installed or algorithms works example of blackboard architecture animal identification knowledge based system so the knowledge is represented in the form of rules by the knowledge sources yes the facts are stored in the blackboard for each rule if the fact and rule matches an action is taken the match fact is the matching fact in the blackboard is updated blackboard can be the screens the input and output screens so uh, animal pictures are taken and then from the knowledge source rules are applied and then the result is back to the blackboard two types of reasoning models can be used forward reasoning backward reasoning forward reasoning start with the in with the initial state of data and proceed towards a goal it may reach a given goal or fails to reach a goal we are no more facts can be matching indicating that the best result has already been determined so this means the blackboard will try to give the best result as much as possible and forward reasoning passes the re, re, come starts in a forward position while in backward reasoning it works in opposite direction it start with the goal and moves backward to reach the initial state and then the best result is uh, generated as output in this example forward reasoning will be used to reach a goal 
so these are the this is the these are the rules which are defined on the blackboard if animal gives milk then animal is mammal if animal eats meat then animal is carnivore if animal is mammal and animal is carnivore means if come if it comes in both r1 and r2 and animal has tawny color and animal has black stripes then animal is tiger the set of fact is animal eats meat animal gives milk animal has a black stripes animal has a tawny color so these rules are defined and remember that whenever time passes so initially we when the knowledge source is not bigger rules are also defined but the data is not too much trend so the results can be uh, biased or can be of no quality but when time passes the rules are applied so the output become more and more better f1 match is rule r2 an animal is carnivore is derived and stored in the blackboard so it is stored in the blackboard the algorithm checks a newly generated data first and a new fact animal is carnivore does not match any rule so it moves to f2 so if it does not match with the one condition it is moved to a second condition and so on f2 matches rule r1 and animal is mammal is derived and stored in blackboard now no single fact matches any rule so combined data of fact is used the combined data of fact matches rule r3 and animal is tiger is derived and stored in the blackboard application domain of blackboard so we can use the blackboard architecture in a variety of applications like travel reservation system so what kind of agents are connected billing agent auto agent hotel agent air agent attraction agent visitors and then it is connected to database knowledge source controller is here and this is another client this is the client who operate this system so all of these agents can get the updated knowledge from this using the blackboard architecture now come to discuss the benefits and limitations benefit includes scalability easy to add or update knowledge source this is the advantage concurrency all the knowledge source can work in a parallel since they are independent of each other so this means we can connect different knowledge sources where they work for the certain goal blackboard support experimentation for the hypothesis when we test some hypothesis that either it is true or not so we can use the blackboard architecture so for experimental purpose blackboard architecture can be used and we can validate our hypothesis reusability of knowledge source agents so we can reuse this knowledge source in other systems limitation include due to the close dependency between the blackboard and knowledge source the structure change of blackboard may have a significant impact on all its agents obviously uh, agents connected to the knowledge source using a blackboard uh, can be affected if there is some issue in the connectivity or a structure change since only partial or approximate solution are expected it can be difficult to decide when to terminate the reasoning so termination and come to the concise result sometimes become difficult synchronization of multiple agent is an issue since multiple agents are working and updating the shared data in blackboard simultaneously the preference or priority of execution of multiple process agents must be coordinated so coordination is very much necessary debugging and testing of the system is a challenging so when we talk about the testing we mostly uh, apply the unit tests so unit test purpose is to validate the program by giving a variety of inputs and check the output so here the knowledge source the data and the inputs makes it difficult to test each and every scenario 
for the unit test in all same is the case with the functional test so these are limitations but remember that limitation does not mean that we will not apply this architecture in real life systems use of blackboard architecture cannot be neglected neglected so this was uh, all about the blackboard architecture